Hi, I'm Lou Ann Aiken with Tagawa Gardens here in Centennial, Colorado. And we're going to talk today about the most popular vining perennial in the country, maybe in the world, but certainly in the USA, and that is clematis. You can say clematis, 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 whatever works. These are great plants and people will know what you're talking about when you come to the garden center. This is a great time of year to be planting clematis because as you can see, the variety in the good garden centers is really huge. There are so many choices. These are so popular because they flower like crazy. Some flower late spring, early summer, others flower later in the fall. Some do a little bit of both, so it's really critical to know how to prune them. And the pruning will depend on when they bloom. You don't want to be cutting off the new wood for the fall bloomers because that's what they need to bloom is that newer wood. But it will, all, it will tell you everything you need to know on the label. So by all means, check out the label, keep the label, and use it for reference to make your plant succeed as much as possible. Clematis definitely need a couple of, of important things. They need a trellis, and I would urge you to keep the trellis that is in the clematis when you buy it until it has been able to adapt and adjust and you've been able to attach it to a new trellis, whether it's a wooden trellis or a, a metal trellis whatever they're going to need support so put that in right when you put the plant in otherwise they're going to start to get a little run away and you don't want that to do that because it could damage the plant the other thing they need clematis need cool feet they like it a little moist not soggy but on the moist side and while they want a good six hours of sun their root system needs to be kept cool. So you can do that by planting a little shrub in front of them. You can do that with two or three inches of organic mulch. It's whatever works for you. These plants, these flowers can literally go on for generations. So you could be planting something of an heirloom that your kids and grandkids could enjoy too. That is your dig info for today.